In this video, let us learn about the construction of transformers. Transformer has made the transfer of electrical energy very easy in the world today. The electricity generated thousands of kilometers away can reach your home now. This transmission of electrical energy from one place to the other without any considerable losses is achieved through a transformer. It works on two basic principles, electromagnetism and electromagnetic induction. For more on these topics, go to our course on DC circuits and electromagnetic induction. So, we should really learn about transformers as it plays an important role in electrical transmission. Let's dive in to know how transformers are made. The construction is very simple. To make a basic transformer, you need two coils and metal sheets. It works on the principle of mutual induction. Therefore, we should have two coils placed very close to each other. But if we have coils alone, all the magnetic flux from one coil will not link with another as there will be some magnetic leakage. Thus, the transfer of energy won't be efficient. For this reason, we use a metal core. The coils are wound on the metal core as shown. This metal core links most of the flux from one coil to the other. Now, the core itself is made in an interesting way. It is not a solid core. It is made of thin laminated sheets stacked up one after the other to form a core. Each laminated sheet is about 25 mm to 50 mm thick. The purpose of this lamination is to reduce eddy current losses. Now, what is eddy current? Eddy currents are circular currents formed in the metals which are subjected to changing magnetic field continuously. The effect of eddy current is undesirable. It produces heat which will affect transformers efficiency. So, the thin laminations will limit eddy current and increases transformer efficiency. These laminations are made of steel and attached together with a thin layer of varnish between them. This avoids eddy current further. In this core, the horizontal portion is called yoke and vertical portion is called limb. Now we have the core ready. Let's get to the coils. Coils are made of copper as they can bend in any shape required and are good conductors of electricity. So in transformers, we deal with two types of coils, primary coil and secondary coil. If a coil is connected to a power source and it produces the main flux, then the coil is primary coil. The other coil which experiences the flux and generates EMF is the secondary coil. In our arrangement, we have coil 1 wound on the left limb and connected to an AC power source. This coil, according to electromagnetism principles, will produce a magnetic flux as the current will be flowing through it. The flux produced by the primary coil will travel through the magnetic core and reach the secondary coil, which is wound on the right limb of the core. This coil experiences a changing magnetic field and an EMF will be produced in it. We get the changing magnetic field as the AC current flows in the primary coil. So this is how you construct a transformer. Take laminated steel plates, stack it up to form a core and place primary and secondary coils on the limbs. That's it. In the next video, we'll go through the working of transformers and how these little parts help in electrical transmission.